So let us come back and do the next topic of your uh, lanthanide elements. Very important question that is what is lanthanide contraction, right? So most famous question asked in lanthanides. We've been seeing the same since years. Okay, fine. Let's see what should we do and how should we write in the exam. Now this question can be asked in a different way also. How does uh, how will they ask you? If it is not a direct question like this, then you will be questioned like uh, in this form. Why does the ionic radii decrease from cerium plus 3 to lutetium plus 3? Don't get confused. Simple it is. Let us write that question also. Why does the ionic radii decrease from cerium plus 3 to lutetium plus 3 okay right basically what happens when you see direct lanthanide contraction everybody try, tends to write the answer but problem is if you tend to forget this particular ele element right that particular uh, lanthanide element then there's a problem so to confuse you all they may give you in this way because uh, cerium lanthanum cerium all these are lanthanide elements they may give you to confuse you but don't get confused simple thing cerium to lutetium when you see lutetium okay just remember lanthanum to lutetium they're asking you about lanthanide contraction done so basically in your board paper in the marking scheme three important things should be given as subheadings when this answer is given what are those first would be definition next would be explanation next would be consequences these three would be there in the board paper right so you should be able to write those three subheadings subheadings then try to explain the answer then you'll be allotted full marks for that particular thing so before i go to the consequences first i'll explain this then i'll go with the consequence let us write so whenever we speak about lanthanide contraction so we have already studied lanthanides the general configuration for lanthanides is what <clears throat> when i have to write lanthanum so we're going to start with 4 f right 1 to 14 yes 5 d 0 and 1 and 6 s 2 this is what is your configuration isn't it now i already said this is the valence shell this is the penultimate shell this is the anti penultimate shell now what is happening here lanthanide contraction basically you're going to write three important keywords what first definition wise the decrease your answer start your answer with the decrease so automatically your answer you will have that flow in that answer the decrease in ionic radii yes of what what is decreasing of which ionic radii ionic radii or from lanthanum okay right so ionic i said so write the ions lanthanum ion to lutetium ion because this is a stable state of uh, stable oxidation state isn't it lanthanum ion to lutetium ion why is it decreasing due to imperfect shielding imperfect shielding of what did i say every time the electron enters into the f sub shell yes or no so imperfect shielding of 4f most of the students i don't know why they write some other 5d 6s please don't do that imperfect shielding of 4f electron from the nuclear charge so from where is it this is from nuclear charge okay this is your basic thing after writing the definition try to just leave some place okay explanation i'll write here try to write one important thing here so i said decrease in atomic ionic radius isn't it now observe cerium the ionic radius 103 picometer gradually due to lanthanide contraction it has come down to lutetium 85 picometer so just start your answer so that the examiner will have okay fine this particular student has an idea of lanthanide contraction so here you can write cerium plus 3 as you have written from 103 picometer reduces to lutetium plus 3 which is your 85 picometer you have to remember the values in go so that you know you will get that extra mark in the exam right yes now when i have to write explain this particular concept simple just start writing so we very well know according to the configuration your 4f now this is your nucleus isn't it right you have proton you have neutron also you have your the shell again the one more shell and one more now we are speaking suppose if i uh, speak about the outermost shell this is your valence shell now 6s next comes your 
penultimate shell that is your 5d next comes your anti penultimate shell 4f now what happened this is 2 this is 5d 0 to 1 now this is 1 to 14 every time the electron tries to add to this 4f subshell isn't it yeah automatically when the electron is added even the proton is also added now what happens the z effective the nuclear charge of the z effective it keeps on it tries to drag this 4f which is closer to this so what will happen oh, already 4f this has a, a double dumbbell shape and the shape is diffused isn't it can't shield the outer electrons so this 4f suppose if i write 4f here okay let me write 5d here let me write 6s here okay so it's, it's clear for you all yes now what happens in your 4f because of its diffuse shape first important thing when you're explaining right right 4f has diffused shape so what is diffuse shape diffuse shape is nothing but your the electrons are spread all over so because 4f has diffuse shape this starts or this particular thing when the nucleus is trying to drag this electron here now the uh, i said z effective is very high it will not because of its diffuse shape it will not protect the electrons which are there at the 5d shell subshell and 6s so now what happens your nuclear charge is directly attacking on this it's directly attacking on this and the protons which are getting added they try to drag the s electron and the 5d electron very closer making the atomic size of the ionic radius very less so once again 4f electron has diffuse shape because of what what will happen it is <coughs> it has imperfect shielding now because of this imperfect shielding what is happening always the z effective or the nuclear charge is acting more on the 5d and 6s yes so z effective tries to tries to drag the electrons hence reducing ionic radii simple isn't it so already the protons are also getting added electrons are also getting added but this for 4f since it is not trying to screen or protect this electron and this electron the whole ionic atomic radii sorry ionic radii keeps on decreasing as i go down just see see one or three it has been decreasing decreasing it has reached 85 picometer so i try to explain this concept i try to explain this concept now i have to explain the consequences of this what is happening because of this now done i am already clear with the concept and i have to come to the consequences so whenever you are writing the consequences of these things important you are going to explain the consequences under four subdings okay now <coughs> consequences means what happened because of this atomic radius sorry lanthanide contraction so you like that consequences right first important thing because of this lanthanide contraction now when i see we've already studied 3d series d block elements isn't it 3d 4d 5d and 6d correct now <coughs> first important thing just observe this is your 3d scan scandium this is the atrium now 5d lanthanum now adjacent to that you have elements which are arranged according to the atomic number just see your elements which are just a bit uh, adjacent to lanthanum now because you're at a lanthanide contraction start started from here lanthanum cerium and everything so lanthanum this particular thing immediately the element adjacent to that hafnium the element adjacent to yatrium that is zirconium the element adjacent to niobium after hafnium tantalum right after niobium molybdenum all these this whole lanthanide contraction effect was observed in all these elements yes so that particular element what happened <coughs> your first important thing so because of lanthanide contraction start like answer here because of lc means lanthanide contraction the properties of what what properties properties of let us write that table so what where it started it started with zirconium below zirconium you have hafnium after zirconium you have niobium after below that you have tantalum after niobium you have molybdenum all these properties are affected by lanthanide contraction because that's the same lanthanum following isn't it what what properties are affected if i have to write let's see here now when i see zirconium the bond uh, this in uh, the radius of zirconium 
zirconium was 159 okay let us see zirconium is 159 picometer okay when i have to speak about hafnium hafnium radii is 1656 picometer are you not finding the difference because down the group it has to increase isn't it the atomic radii has also decreased if i have to see the uh, ionic radii suppose if i take zirconium plus 4 hafnium plus 4 how many is it listen the zirconium uh, ionic radii is 79 picometer half neum it has become 78 picometer are you not observing the decrease in ionic radial yes done yes the same thing now what happened even the molecular mass now zirconium 91.22 later on when i see half neum it has gone to 178.4 so the mass and the atomic radii what will happen to the density we very well know our mass and volume right density is equal to mass by volume so the atomic radii and your mass together also changes the density of these particular elements so important because of this properties the what are what what properties i said yes atomic radii is varying density is varying yes because i already told you atomic in this ionic okay uh, atomic radio okay, you can write ionic radio also not, not a problem ionic radii okay ionic radii similar yes ionic radii is varying along with that density properties like melting point boiling point all these factors are varying so what is making this vary the lanthanide contraction now when such properties all are similar right so can i separate the elements it's very difficult for me to isolate all these as element isn't it so that would be your second point first point because of this the properties of all these elements have become or this almost similar done now second point when i have to write you're going to write separation of these metals becomes difficult why because when there is a variation of very less variation uh, i can't isolate the metal separately isn't it so separation becomes of these metals become difficult and now when you're writing write subheading like this because of these properties and elements properties have become similar underline now separation of these metals becomes difficult underline so let us come back to third important thing right and when i have to write the third consequence you have to first go back to your grade 11 fajon's rule what does it say third important con concept is it's going to speak about basicity concept basicity concept what is it or ba ba solution now what does it say I said basicity concept when I have to speak, I'm going to speak only when your cations are combining with water to form because the oxidation state of this is plus 3, isn't it stable? Now HOH I can write it as like this, correct? Now your this is positive, this is positive, this is negative. It's going to form a bond with this and lanthanum hydroxide plus hydrogen gas remember you are uh, you, you most important thing is you will speak only in terms of land hydroxides when you are speaking about basicity yes <laughs> now you are going to write the basicity concept based on fajan's rule you can write here also like this fajan's rule in the exam what does it say yes whenever the charge of the cation now this is your cation which cation is this ln plus 3 after uh, uh, your uh, lanthanum isn't it okay right so lanthanum okay mm, lanthanum your la plus 3 so this la plus 3 uh, cation yes <coughs> i have when i have to see what are the characteristics of this first important thing the cation charge is larger correct now higher the which charge is higher positive charge higher the positive charge okay done what else are you finding the size when the char charge is higher according to this one automatically the size of the cation cation is already smaller isn't it smaller would be cation okay smaller the cation when the cation is smaller as i said this small cation is going to drag or polarize this anion it's going to drag that anion isn't it so what will happen this cation and the anion is going to drag and the polarizability will be very high 
yes or no so when it is trying to drag or polarizability is very high what will happen to the character it's going to form a covalent bond so it's dragging that whole density towards it so covalent nature increases when the covalent nature increases just simple easy thing isn't it now when it's trying to drag will it release this oh minus ion easily right so i'm i'm going down size is decreasing 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 it will be highly polarizability lutetium will have high polarizability it's going to pull the electrons because of its size now when when it's trying to pull the electrons will the basicity decrease or increase down the group automatically basicity <coughs> basicity decreases yes or no let us come back and explain once again what did we say lanthanum to lutetium so which is higher charge lanthanum is higher charge next comes cerium like that till the last is the smallest one is lutetium larger cation smaller cation okay and let's come back now see when the size of the cation or the higher the positive charge charge is higher plus 3 because this is the maximum charge the size of the cation will be smaller yes according to Sajan's rule when the cation is smaller it's going to drag the anion which is OH minus yes towards it when it is trying to drag it's going to form a tight covalent bond when it is forming a tight covalent bond, will it release the uh, OH minus ion? It doesn't release, isn't it? Basicity decreases down the group. So that's why when I have to see this, okay, you're going to write all this important thing and come back to the conclusion. Conclusion is lanthanum hydroxide <coughs> is more basic than lutetium hydroxide. So this is based on basicity because it is not going to release that OH minus ion because the size is very small. So your basic concept is speaking in terms of Fajan's rule, finally concluding your basicity. Basicity decreases down the group. Yes, so this is done with your third, uh, this one. So what did I say? There is variation in ionic radii, first thing. Separation becomes very difficult for me, second thing. I said basicity decreases down the group. That is what I said. Yeah, let us come back and do the next one. So what would be the fourth concept? <clears throat> when I have to speak about fourth concept, yes, simple thing. I will just... Uh, uh, I finish off this co consequence with speaking in terms of electronegativity. Just now I said when I go down from lanthanum plus 3 to lutetium plus 3 which is a smaller ion, this is the smaller cation. When the cation is smaller, what will happen to the m plus 3 uh, electronegativity? Yes, this is going to drag the electrons from the OH minus ion. Yes, because it's positive charge. So, what will happen? Down the group, down the group, electronegativity of M plus 3 increases. Simple. Yes. So, this is your lanthanide contraction. Please remember definition. Yes. Explanation. Yes. Second, con third would be consequences. Four consequences should be written. Everything underlined. Yes. If you don't remember the graph, not a problem. But please try to remember 103 picometer and 85 picometer. That would be better. So, this is your lanthanide contraction.